Hey y'all, this is Brittany with Brittany's Creations, and actually, let me, I'm gonna move my camera real quick. There we go, so it's a little more comfortable for me. There we go. Alright, so, this is, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I created my, um, postcards, my shaker pocket postcards. All the ones I showed in my video are Graphic 45. Um, because Graphic 45 comes with these postcards, but I'm just going to make some shaker cards without the postcards. I mean, I can create this where it has the line and the stuff, but um, I'm just going to show you how I made them. So what I did was I took old brag, brag books, um, which have like, you know, the photo sleeves. And, you know, you just pull them apart like this, and you get your, your little pocket. And then, so I'm going to do one with this here. So this is 6x6 six six paper, so it's already 6 inches. Um, so you want it to be 4x6. So I'm going to do one with this Alice in Wonderland paper. Um, and the way I designed these, originally I was going to put the postcard on the outside of this. I just didn't like how it looked, so pretty much I guess what you would do with these. I don't know yet, I have to ask the post office. Um, it will be in the other video if um, you can just put a stamp on these and mail them. You would write on the, the cell of the plastic, and I've already did a test with Sharpie. It doesn't come off, so... And I can show you, here's one that rip that I can't use. So if I take this really quickly and just let me grab a piece of cardstock so you can see what I'm doing. If it will go a little quicker, that would be great. I cannot like pick up a piece of paper with one hand. Okay, so here it is. If I take Sharpie and I'll write on it. So like say it would be like the address, I'll just put a random address so 67 bank avenue um east new york i don't know just 73421 i know that's completely not right um and then if i wanted to you know write my message like hey how are you doing or like happy birthday this is like really just yeah so that's how it is and you can see it's once it's dry it doesn't come it doesn't come off so um, you have to make sure it dries before you try to rub it you can also go over it twice and you'll get a darker black color you can also write on it with color marker uh, color sharpie but I do recommend using sharpie and it will knock them off and I'll show you even if you were to get this wet so if I spray this with water and if I take a paper towel and I try to rub it it doesn't even fade so yeah so actually I might keep this as a sample so I can show people it will not rub off um, so yeah so I'm gonna do one with you and I'm gonna do this Alice in Wonderland one um, these are ones I'm gonna make that aren't postcards so I just have a, an example so they'll just be like cards that and these you can some people you can just give these to people and then they don't even have to write on the back of them they can just like put a sticky note and then write on it and still give the shaker to someone these are postcards I have to check with the post office like I said to see if I can just put a stamp on this and mail it um so yeah um I just love how these came out they're also really great just to you know put in um your planners or whatever so yeah so the ones I'm making now are not going to be postcards will just be cards so some examples I have I went through my papers so this one I'm doing Alice in Wonderland um, I did do it so there's like journaling paper on some of them so here's like one and then I have like a rubber ducky one and yeah so I just went through and I picked out some designs and stuff for that so anyways let's get started so these have to be four by six it's already six by six paper so, yeah, and when you do the graphic 45 ones, you just have to cut out the, um, the pieces. Um, so, 
yeah, so I'm going to cut this to four by six. I have a little paper cutter here, and I'm just going to cut it to four. Um, and then again, four inches, just like that. Super simple. You can ink the edges if you would like. I'm not going to, just for the purpose of this video. Um, so this is going to be the back of the card where you can write. And I thought of, like, possibly doing something where... You know, what I was going to do is have this where, you know, this was in here, you have the shaker, my original idea, and then I was going to attach the postcard to the back like this, and I just did not like how it looked with the paper on the outside. It just, I don't know, I just didn't like it, so I didn't do that, which probably would have been better instead of writing on plastic, but, you know, I also thought if you could make, like, take two of these and like attach them to one another and then leave or take another cut one of these in half and take one of the pieces and attach it and then use it where you have your card where it goes you can do it where it has a pocket where eh. do you guys get what I'm saying where this can slide in here right instead of being attached and sealed where you can remove it and write on it and put it back on then reuse it which is what I was originally thought and I should have did something like that but I didn't so anyways I still like how they came out and I'm gonna leave them like this so yeah so I'm just going to do that so there we go just like that and I'm gonna just add some embellishments um, I'm actually gonna add I have some of these glittery red hearts so I'm gonna add some of these um, to this just because it's you know Alice in Wonderland so add some of these and then I have some sequins so I think I'm gonna do I don't know if I want to do, I think I'm going to do red and black instead of blue and green. Or I don't know. Maybe I'll just do, I'll do a whole combination of them. So, let me, hold on, I'm trying to find my, here we go. Alright, so I have these, and hopefully this can open in here. Um, and then I also have, um... Blue, where's my green ones? Or I can't find them. Um. Okay, well, for the sake and time of this video. Oh well. Anyways, um. See, I don't know if I like the. Yeah, alright, I'll just do black and red for this. So, what I do is I have one of these little plastic spoons from the dollar store, and that's how I measure out my sequence. And actually, I should have some mini playing cards, but I don't know. Hold on. I have these little playing cards, so I'm going to add a couple of them as well in here um, just because I'm trying to make it a little creative. Uh, where are my scissors? Sorry. Not used to doing uh, tutorials. I kind of talk and not even show you so I have these playing cards so I will put some of those in here as well alrighty there we go and now I'll do my sequence so I'm gonna put in some I don't know if I'm gonna put in white but I have some black so I will put in some black and I'll put in different types of black in here And I guess I'll put in some silver, and I'll put some white in there, and I'll put some of these in there. These are the ones I got at the dollar store, which was a very good buy, by the way. And then, ooh, I'm also going to do some of these gold ones over here, because, like, the background is cream, so I just want to keep with the color scheme and there goes those so I'm not going very fast with this am I anyways 
try to do this really, really quickly. Um, get some red in there. Um, just like that. Get some of those in there. I know, normally Mad Hatter is more colorful, but, you know, because it's just the card, I'm going to go with the Queen of Hearts in there as well. So, since we're doing that, I have these here. So, I'm going to add some of these, which are these little hearts. So, yeah, and then you can start shaking it around a little bit just to see how you like it. And then I also have glitters and stuff like that that I can add. And a whole bunch of stuff. So, let's see. I have, I don't know, should I add some purple in there? Or no, since it's sticking to this theme. I'm not going to do the purple, I guess. I have these little hearts, so I'll add those. Um, so yeah, I guess it went Mad Hatter, but Queen of Hearts incorporated <laughs> into it. Um, just because, you know, he was the Hatter for the Queen of Hearts. So I have some red seed beads, so I'm going to add those. These are from the dollar store, from the nail art. And they did just get all over my desk, which is okay. These are also like a pinky red, so yeah. And then I'm going to add some white glitter. So these are from the nail art. And I'm just going to add some of that in there. Actually, I'm going to add more than that. Um, yeah pretty good. I'll even add some silver in to this. Um, voila. So then what I do is I take my fuse tool and take this cardstock again and I will push this all the way up against the side. I try not to get it on the other side. If it gets on the other side, it's okay. You can try to like go like this and push it to the other side too. But if just slight bit gets to the other side, it's okay. So I push it as far over as I can get it. And this is a little bit harder because I have some thicker pieces in here. And you're going to hold it down. And then I, I take it like this because it's easier to hold the fuse tool. And you're going to fuse it as close to the paper as you possibly can. And I go over it about two or three times. Because I, hopefully this was hot enough when I did this and then you just lift up so I'm pretty sure that was hot enough yeah and then you push these down to that side and then you're gonna seal off the bottom as well as close to the paper as you possibly can and Oh, that did not, see, it did not go through. Ugh. Well, there you go. I will fix it, but that's how you do that. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.